Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my fall recommendations video and this is the third year in a row that I've been doing this yearly. I just really love the fall so any excuse to do a fall themed video, I am in for it. And I still stand by my other fall recommendations because I actually originally had two on my list for today's video that I'd already recommended in those other videos. So these are all new recommendations. I have talked about all of these books before so there shouldn't really be any surprise here but for just different reasons I'll get into why I think these books are great for fall and I did get a variety of genres so that hopefully something here will suit everybody I recommend in the woods by Tana French and really the rest of her series these are mystery thrillers and I think mystery works fantastic for fall there's just such a creepy atmosphere in mystery novels and this one is no exception I think it was fantastically done Tana French has a way with writing that's phenomenal and I've gushed about it a lot before because I'm a big fan of her writing and I'm so so excited for her book that's coming out in October but that's not what we're here for we're here for in the woods so in the woods follows our two main detective characters their detective relationship detective ship don't know what you want to call it but it's fantastic she writes friendship and teamwork so well I love it this is just a case about a 12 year old who turns up dead and I'm trying to figure out what happened to her obviously but very creepy and dark and really good for fall next I had to have a historical fiction and I'm recommending The Secret Keeper by Kate Morden just because I recently read this and I loved it. I read pretty much all of it in one day and pretty much all of these books on this list are ones that I just couldn't get out of my head. I couldn't stop reading and I got very sucked into and this is no exception. So this is following a daughter who's trying to discover the secrets of her mother's past and her mother lived through World War II in London during the Blitz and so this story is kind of uncovering what her mother went through and the mother's life before she got married and started having children. It was the first Kate Morton book that I'd read so I would recommend this if you like historical fiction, especially World War II era. This one I thought was really good. Of course, I have to have some fantasy, and so I'm definitely recommending The Great Bastards by Jonathan French. I just read this a couple months ago. This is a really great fantasy adventure book that kept me hooked from the start to the finish, following a fantastic main character of Jackal and his tribe, his friendships, a mysterious man who comes to visit their tribe, and just all these insane adventures that go on from there. I'm not going to say anything further, but I think this would make a really good fall read just because of how engaging it is and I think fantasy really reads well in the fall. It's, this is a book you would just want to sit up with all night if you live in a cooler climate. Maybe sit by a nice fire and have some tea or hot chocolate or whatever. So I have the final of my physical books to recommend and this is a book I actually talked about in a, my book gifting guide for last Christmas but it is 112263 by Stephen King. This kind of takes place in the fall or at least part of it does. I mean 1122 that's November so of course it's a fall kind of themed story but this is about a man who travels back in time to stop the Kennedy assassination and that's where I will leave this. It's a very big chunker of a book so obviously I can't really say much more than what happens at the beginning of this book but so much more happens than just that. There's danger, there's adventure, there's just a lot going for this book for the fall. And now two books that I don't own physically but I still wanted to mention in this video are The Cruel Prince by Holly Black and this is a young adult fantasy novel. The story of Faye, a human girl living in the Faye world and just what she has to deal with. It's a lot darker than I expected because I have read some fairy books and it's not really that dark but this is a dark side to the fairy world. But overall, I think this is a really good book for fall, especially if you're like me and you like reading fantasy in the fall. And finally, I'm recommending something a little bit different, and that is The Woman in White by Wilkie Collins. Now, this is a classic mystery. You can actually read it for free on your Kindle because it's one of those classics that's just free. So thank you, Amazon and Kindle for all that wonderfulness. It takes place in England following this school teacher who goes to teach school at this home. And there's just some characters some villain-like characters who come into play and things just are looking extremely fishy and strange. The whole atmosphere of this story is kind of dark and creepy and I love it's like a Victorian era gothic style mystery and it works so well for fall so I would definitely recommend that if you are into classic. Well those are all of the books that I have to recommend for fall. Definitely leave me below some recommendations for books that you read and love in fall because I'm always looking for some good fall recs. Anyway, Thank you so much for watching and happy reading.